Namaste, welcome to Gita's Kitchen. In today's lunch combo, we have a few interesting dishes. I'll make some uh, carrot soup, which is really very healthy. And we'll have a vegetable biryani and the typical onion raita, which goes along with it. Now for the carrot soup, I have chopped three carrots and one onion and kept it. So first, take about uh, half a tablespoon of butter in your pressure cooker base. You can make it in an open pan also, but pressure cooking makes it faster. That's why I'm using this method. Now add the onions and fry them lightly. Next add the chopped carrots also. Just make sure that your carrots are fresh and juicy. Only then the soup taste will be really good. Just saute the carrots and onions for a couple of minutes. Add salt to taste. Next, I am adding 2 cups of water and we will pressure cook this for 2 whistles and switch it off. For the vegetable biryani, I have taken 1 cup of basmati rice, washed it and it has been soaking for about 20-25 minutes now. We will grind a masala paste, it is about 4 tablespoons of grated coconut, a small piece ginger. 5 to 6 cloves of garlic, this is 1 onion roughly chopped and some and a handful of these pudina or mint leaves that adds a very good flavour to your biryani. Now we will grind all these ingredients to a paste and bring it back. Our masala paste is ground and ready. Next in a heavy pan take a tablespoon of ghee and 2 tablespoons of oil. I am adding a piece of cinnamon, 1 cardamom and 4 to 5 cloves. Just slightly fry these spices. Next I am adding in this ground masala paste to it and fry that also well in this oil. Meanwhile drain out the water from the rice. See when the masala has fried well, you can see the oil and ghee separating on top. Now we will add in all these vegetables which you have sliced and kept ready. Here I have one onion. A few French beans. Green chilli sliced. The choice of vegetables depends on the availability. Quantity also you can add less or more. Here I have some carrots and capsicum. This is one small potato I have sliced. And about half a cup of this uh, frozen green peas. Now mix everything well together all the vegetables and the masalas too. See just as I keep fresh grated coconut always in my freezer, this frozen green peas is always on my list and uh, every month I have a packet in the freezer ready. So whenever we want we can use. Now add this drained rice also into it. Now mix everything very well together. Add salt to taste. One cup of rice, I have taken one and three fourth cups of water because I am using basmati rice. Now allow everything to come to a boil. Side by side, I will make the typical onion raita which goes with the South Indian veg biryani. Very simple, no cooking involved. I have just taken one cup of homemade curd. 
we will whisk it very well so that it becomes a smooth mix here i have some sliced onions and green chilies i am just adding a pinch of salt to this add this beaten curd to it add a few fresh coriander leaves and give it all a good mix a tasty onion raita is ready to be served with the biryani when it starts boiling well cover it with a lid reduce the flame and cook it till all the water is absorbed let's just check on our biryani see there is still some water left to be absorbed and the vegetables also need to be cooked gently give it a good mix continue cooking till done the carrot soup also pressure cooker has switched off now see now the water has all been absorbed and you can check your vegetables also they are also well cooked i will check the potato see that's done that means even all the other vegetables will also be done well just lightly fluff it up with the back of a spoon so that the grains are not broken our tasty simple south indian vegetable biryani home style is done and ready now the pressure has also released from our soup let's open it and check it's also well cooked drain out the stalk from the carrots now add this carrot and onions to your mixer jar just allow it to cool a little to room temperature then we'll blend it into a smooth paste now lightly roast a teaspoon of whole black pepper and a teaspoon of jeera or cumin seeds when the cumin seeds are lightly browned and you get a good aroma switch this off and we'll make it into a powder in our blender jar see our carrot has been made into a smooth puree it has blended very well take it back into your pan and just pouring this stock into it pour this also now mix everything very well and we'll simmer it again for a couple of minutes till it again comes to a boil remember we have already added salt while cooking the carrots so no need to add salt again see our healthy carrot soup is again boiling well now i'll switch this off now this is the pepper and jeera powder which we roasted and powdered add this on top and another special ingredient for added flavor this is dry ginger powder also known as salt powder we can add this if you don't have this you can grate some ginger and cook it along with the carrots while making the soup absolutely flavorful uh, golden soup as i like to call it is now ready very very healthy and nutritious too finally just top it up with a few coriander leaves and it is ready to be served see this soup is quite creamy as it is because of the boiled and pureed carrots if you like you can add some fresh cream on top that is entirely your choice so we have a south indian style vegetable biryani some healthy carrot soup and onion raita for our lunch menu today Thank you for watching the video please subscribe to Geeta's Kitchen and we'll meet again with another interesting video from Geeta's Kitchen thank you